I am Professor Dr. Sachidananda Prasad, Head of the Department of Chemistry, BNK College, Achua, Paling, Patna. Today, I want to explain Faraday's Law of Electrolysis, topic related with 12th class students and also for general persons who want to know what is electrolysis and its importance in life. Faraday's law of electrolysis may help in determination of the amount of metal deposited on cathode, determination of <coughs> equivalent weight and electrochemical equivalent, electroplating, electro refining and electrometallurgy etc. If useful to you please take please like share and subscribe faraday's law of electrolysis m faraday studied the phenomenon of electrolysis and stated two laws on the basis of his experimental result these laws are known as Faraday's law of electrolysis. First law The amount of any substance deposited at each electrode during the process of electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through its solution. If C ampere of current is passed in Electricity in electrolytic solution for the time t second. As a result of this, m gram of substance is deposited. Then, according to Faraday's law of electrolysis, m proportional to Q, where Q is the amount of current passed through electrolyte in Coulomb unit. Since Q equals C into T, therefore M proportional to C into T or M equals ZCT equation 1. Equation 1 is mathematical <coughs> form of Faraday's first law where Z equals electrochemical equivalent. Experiment and explanation. Let an aqueous solution of copper sulfate salt is taken in electrolytic cell and two plates of copper metal are dipped in copper sulfate solution as electrodes. These electrodes are connected with negative and positive poles of battery as given in figure 1. When electric current is passed through the solution, electrolysis of copper sulfate proceeds as given e reaction. CSO4 AQ reversal sign, CO2 plus ion plus SO4 2 minus ion. CO2 plus ion plus 2 electron arrow CO solid at cathode. SO4 2 minus ion arrow sulfate plus 2 electron at anode. On electrolysis, copper is deposited at cathode. Experimentally, it was found that the amount of copper deposited at cathode depends upon the amount of current passed through the solution. It means amount of copper is directly proportional to the amount of current passed through the solution. Second law, the amount of substance is deposited by passing of same amount of electricity through the solutions of different electrolytic solutions are proportional to their chemical equivalent. Let copper voltmeter and silver voltmeter are attached with battery plug key emitter in series when Q coulomb of electricity is passed through the 
solution as given in figure 2 if m1 gram of copper and m2 gram of silver are deposited on cathodes by passing of electric current and e1 and e2 are the chemical equivalent then from a second law of electrolysis m1 proportional to e1 or m1 equal k e1 or m1 by e1 equal k equation 1 and m2 proportional to e2 or m2 equal k e2 therefore m2 by e2 equal k from equation 1 and 2 even m1 by e1 equal m2 by e2 or m1 by m2 whatever e1 by e2 question 3 figure as given in <coughs> picture question 3 is mathematical form of Faraday's second law of electrolysis first of electro chemical equivalent from Faraday's first law of electrolysis M equal Z C T If C equal one ampere and T equal one second, then from equation one M equal Z C T equal Z into one into one, therefore M equal Z. Equation 2. According to equation 2, electrochemical equivalent may be defined as the amount of substance deposited at cathode by passing 1 ampere current for 1 second in is called electrochemical equivalent. Listen between electrochemical equivalent Z and equivalent weight E. If M1 gram and M2 gram of copper and silver are deposited at cathodes by passing Q coulomb of electricity through copper sulfate and silver nitrate solutions connected in series and E1 and E2 are the equivalent weights of copper and silver respectively then from second law m1 by e1 equal m2 by e2 or j1 ct by e1 equal j2 ct by e2 or j1 by e1 equal j2 by e2 equation 1 or j1 by e1 equal k and j2 by e2 equal k or j1 equal k e1 or j2 and j2 equal k e2 or Z1 proportional to E1 and Z2 proportional to E2, thus Z proportional to E equation 2, where Z and E are general values of electrochemical equivalent and equivalent weight of metal. According to equation 1, 2, uh, electrochemical equivalent is directly proportional to equivalent weight of the metal deposited at cathode. 